<laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Halloween countdown. <laughs> <laughs> I am your host, the Slug Lady, and this is my special guest, my brother Cameron. Hello. And as you can see, the um, the the set is much a little bit bigger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, don't to, don't to mind this stuff right here. That that's that's what you see when you don't have widescreen on. Okay, <laughs> so just just keep it right here. Yeah, awesome. Oh, and <laughs> today we are reviewing Grave Encounters. So for this last video, I decided to get my brother, who loves horror movies, to pick out a horror movie for me, and he picked Grave Encounters. Yeah, it was a good one. <laughs> I, I liked it. Yeah, it was actually, it was really good. Like, ten times better than Blair Witch Project, that's for oh, sure. Oh, hell yeah. Like, <laughs> uh, oh, I was so disappointed in that movie. <laughs> that's another story. Yeah, no, I've already, that's another review. <laughs> I've already done that. Uh, <laughs> my, my, my biggest review was it, it was just throwing it in the trash. <laughs> uh, so, Grave sorry Encounters... Sorry for the people who like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sorry. Uh, Grave Encounters is another found footage video. Uh, the difference here is that it is a found footage video of TV Ghost Hunters. And I hate TV Ghost Hunters. So, watching them kind of do a parody of TV Ghost Hunters was awesome. Yeah, it was really good. Cause it's not an, like, real, real one, <laughs> like a lot of people say, but... Uh, they, they say that with every horror movie these days now. Oh, yeah. it's, it's oh, based it's, on a true story. <laughs> written by a book, you know, uh, yep. based on this book. Yeah. Some person <laughs> just happened to find a videotape of this... Like, this random haunting in a random place. Yeah. <laughs> and so even, let's make a movie out of it. <laughs> and even the even the beginning where it has the guy like, okay, so what you are watching is not a video. It is, uh, it's it's just cut down for time. It's something that really happened. Like even when he was, it was, was so like, awkward. Yeah, but and cheesy you know when he was saying that. I've watched that movie so many, this movie so many times that now, now that guy's starting to look like Rick Grimes from The Walking Dead. <laughs> oh, you've seen it too many times then. Oh, hands down. Like, it's been years. Every every Halloween. Okay. It's and a... in between. Nice. <laughs> um, so it starts out really cheesy and hokey with them putting on this fake uh, ghost hunters thing. You see them like, like paying money to someone so that they'll say they saw a ghost. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> when you see that part, you can't help but laugh. He stares right at the camera. He's so serious and it's so freaking funny. This guy is the most <laughs> stupidest medium you will ever see. That guy can. He's just... a fake medium, basically. Yeah. He's and he's. He loves to lap up the scenery, that's for sure. Yeah. Like he he's like, Spirits, talk to us, please. Tell us why you are angry. Like, this guy chews the scenery. <laughs> <laughs> Tries to steal the camera and is like, I am so professional. Look at me, I'm talking to ghosts. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and the reason why I hate all this fake stuff is because I actually do believe in the supernatural. Oh yeah. So so it's like that scene from Go the new Ghostbusters film. Have you seen that yet? No, I haven't. Okay, there's one scene where they're like, you know why people don't believe us? Because of shit like this. And she yeah. points onto the TV and it's a ghost hunter show. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, that's exactly how I feel. <laughs> Do you know what show it was? Oh, it, no, it was, I think it was just a, ma a made for the movie kind oh, of. Oh, okay. Kind of, another fake ghost hunters thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Gen Enter generic. Supernatural. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get so much hate on this video. No, don't hate her, hate we, me. We've been hating on Blair Witch Project and... Oh, uh, I've seen so, so much Supernatural, oh. it's just getting so boring. <laughs> I'm sorry, but oh. like, now their dad is Negan on the... on. Oh, really? Yeah, the, like, the dad... That's who's playing Negan. Yeah, okay. the dad who played... Uh, is now playing Negan on uh, The Walking Dead. Anyway, back to the movie. 
you know it's going to turn out to be a haunting. Yeah. Like, the, all this fake stuff, they're going to find out, oh, it's real. But it's how it kind of unfolds that is, that is yeah. like, the, the amazing thing. Actually, I was kind of surprised by it, because when I was watching, I sort of got this kind of feel of, well, one from the game Outlast, because found footage and mental yeah. hospital, oh, but yeah. also from Fatal Frame. Okay, yeah. Because I told you about how in Fatal Frame, the building kind of moves around, and that's yeah. what happens in here. Oh, that was the most creepiest part, I thought. Yeah, I thought that was they really They tried well to done. escape. Okay, so when they first get into the house, on the front doors, it says, Death Awaits. And then... Like, spray-painted on. Yeah, and then, once all this shit goes on, and everyone's getting freaked out, they say, oh no, the guy who's supposed to get us is not here, he's an hour late. They try to bust out. And then, as soon as they break the door down, there's another hallway. And, and they're they... so confused, because they thought there was, a, there was the lobby, right? This is the lobby that they, they started in. That was, like, at the front door. <laughs> but no. They close the door behind them, and it still says, Death Awaits. It's just now there's a hallway attached to it. Mm. And I think that was probably my favorite part. Yeah. Because they're... Like, the main thing in horror movies that I sometimes hate is when people are people don't get the fudge out. They're yeah. just, like, <laughs> get the heck out of Dodge, okay? Oh, yeah. So once <laughs> in this in, one, you can't. Basically, once you're in this place, there's no getting out. They even... They, uh, unless you, you know, die. Yeah. Well, I don't even, <laughs> don't even know if that's true. Yeah. They might be haunting that that hospital now. Oh God! So they're at this men. It was a mental hospital. It starts off with them talking about all these different histor historical things that happened there. Yeah, a lot of lobotomies. Um, yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> yes. Creepiest doctor ever, I swear. Oh, you you need to see Outlast. Uh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh. That one that one has creepy doctors by dying the dozen, and actually. Speaking of that, this is actually one of my favorite horror subjects was sanitariums. Oh, yeah. Because sanitariums, especially back then, were absolutely messed up. And I love that they didn't steer. They they were pretty truthful in what they were talking about. That, oh, yeah. That, that the people that were put in sanitariums back then were people that people were embarrassed about, that just wanted to get rid of. Yeah. They weren't. It wasn't really a place to get help it was a place to forget somebody mm -hmm. so when the scares actually start it's actually very gradual mm -hmm. like for first you get a whole bunch of foreshadowing going on they're saying okay this window it, i lock it and the next day it's always unlocked so they set up one of their cameras by that yeah. also he has one of those what what was it it wasn't a it was one of, it was the camera like they took a picture right I, he called, Flash cam. Yeah, he, he called it a ghost cam. Yeah. So, like, you take a picture and you can actually see, like, the circles or a line or, like, a figure. Yeah, there. so it, it was just, like, a like really old-fashioned camera, yeah. but it wasn't, like, one that prints out the picture. I forget what mm -hmm. those are called now. Uh, Polarized? Yes. Yeah, it wasn't Polarized. a Polaroid. Yeah. So, so polar he Polaroid. says this so seriously and so funny. He's like, we won't know. Till later. <laughs> <laughs> if there was like a ghost in yeah. or something. <laughs> if there's a ghost in there, we won't know. But the till audience later. watching the film gets to see the pictures right away. So first yeah. in the pictures we see that there's no ghosts. Yeah. But later as like weird things start happening. Then they're all around them. Like, Every picture has like Everywhere. Three to five ghosts. I swear. And then there's one <laughs> picture and a figure that looked like I should, like probably ten feet tall maybe. <laughs> Yeah, like when things, when shit finally starts to get down, that like he's like, oh, enough of this shit, and then like starts taking pictures everywhere, and he's like, is there a friggin' ghost here? Come on, will you? Like, he's getting answer? pissed off because he can't me. see any ghosts. You know? Yeah, and he... all all of his other crew has been witnessing these ghosts, but nope, not him. He's getting so pissed. He's like, come on, guys, let's just come go. at me, bro. Yeah, it's just. <laughs> <laughs> and and he takes pictures and you can see they're surrounded by an army of ghosts. <laughs> yeah. Ghosts. Um, and let's see, the first big thing that I think happens is that their friend disappears. 
No. No, that, that, that that's not what happens. First right. thing that happens right. is, uh... This, uh... First, uh, this guy, one of their crewmen, I, can't, I think his name is TC. Can't remember right now. Yeah, but, it uh, is. Yeah, it is TC? Okay, well, there so. you go. Um... He's walking around doing this like floaty camera stuff around the hallways, it's so dark, and then all of a sudden he has a phone call, he puts his his camera down, and then as he's distracted on his phone with his wife, he Well like, we well, see We we see the 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 audience audience sees a ha um a Wheel wheelchair oh yeah, a wheelchair. There's just, always just a wheelchair. Slight, yeah, always a wheelchair. Just slightly moving. And he, he still doesn't notice it. And then as he picks up the camera, walks around more, he goes into this one room. And then when he turns around, the door slams right on him. He gets, and he gets it on camera. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that... And then there's a big scene where the guy is, like, trying to see ghosts, and he can't, so he take his, takes the pictures. Yeah. But when I, what I meant was, like, when... Things get extremely serious because oh, okay, the whole yeah. thing is that when You're they're locked, their friend, yeah, they're yeah. locked in the building. They're like, okay, I think we got enough footage. Let's just pack everything up. So the camera guy goes out to collect all the different cameras that are around the yeah. building, and then he goes missing. And they're trying to look for him, and even trying to get back, they are getting lost, and their walkie talkies are shorting out. Yeah, they, they only work when they're literally standing right next to each other. Yeah. <laughs> When the when when they can make eye contact, yeah, and then that's when their walkie talkies will work. So they're completely useless. But yeah, things start to get they're they're getting really mad. So uh, TC especially because he has a daughter, he's trying to get back to his family. He's, he's just and that's fed when up they with the whole thing. And that's when they ram the door open, and that's when they find the hallways that are connected to each other, and they just start walking and moving. Yeah, and. It, and it keeps cutting, and then you find out it's been several hours, it's and, been several days. And, and at this point, there are still windows. So, yeah, when it's, it's when it's been a couple days, you, you, you think that the sun would come up, but nope, always nope. dark. It's been dark. They're, they're the like, only time you'll have light is if you have a flashlight. It's, light it's or not until the, the one guy looks at his phone and he's like, hold up. It, it says yeah. like, oh, guys. It's eight. It's eight o'clock. Oh yeah. It's eight o'clock. Sunrise. I checked the sunrise times. Should have been bright by seven thirty. Yeah. That's what creeped me out. Cause like. And then ow. it becomes like one p.m. and. So yeah. at this point, they are now stuck in a parallel universe or some supernatural universe. Dimension. Dimension. Yeah. yeah I, I call it a dimension. <laughs> they they have gone across the threshold. <laughs> Yeah. As it were. <laughs> and now they're stuck in spook territory. I, oh, no. I got a perfect word for it. Purgatory. Yeah. That yeah, would, that yeah. would sum it up really they're well. They're stuck in purgatory. So, they're, so they start, like, walking and traveling, and then that's when they start to actually have the big ghost encounters where they think they see their friend, but it's actually a girl running across the hallway. Oh, yeah. And when she turns to the camera, it goes all... Ah! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The Basically, build someone stole her candy and she did not like it. <laughs> and then, um, and then it just, it gets more increasing and increasing. They're, let's see, they get separated. And when, every time someone gets separated, they go, they, they're missing for good. Or they come back as, and with something messed up happened to them. So mm. one of the girls has like scratches all over her back. I think it read hell. Yeah, it said Or hell. hello. No, oh no, it was hello. Yeah. yeah. Literally, it was like someone took a, like a knife and just carved hello in the middle yeah. of her back. Yeah. Like from the, from like Yeah, bottom along with to top. all other scratches. Uh Oh yeah, the big the big one, the one I really liked the most was um PC. <laughs> They go into the the shower, where they had the story that some some girl oh, killed herself. Oh, the bathtub, yeah. They, they, they and, tell you a story about a girl who slit her wrist in a bathtub, and the bathtub was all red from from it, the blood. Yeah, yeah. and, and during this whole yeah. like haunting thing, they look at the tub and they're like, 
guys, the tub is full of water. Oh the, yeah. The tub is full like, of water. No, what? like it's not just water. The tub is full of blood. Yeah. It's red. Yeah. So. And then, uh, so Matt, after they find him, they have. Oh yeah, Matt. By the way, he is like he he is officially a part of the sanitarium now. He is a patient. Yeah, He's dressed he, like a patient. They found him dressed in the white gowns and with and they all woke like even the whole crew woke up with the the hospital oh, wristband. Oh yeah, bags. that was the other thing. Every time they fall asleep something happens. So yeah. what they the first big thing that freaked me out was like when they woke up with the wristbands. I loved that. Mm. And the, and let's see a few oh yeah so TC he walks over to this tub the reason he does this is because Matt's over there and he's trying to get Matt away from it TC gets pulled into the tub they flip the tub over and, he, and he's gone yeah like he's dis- no hole yeah. at the bottom of the tub because it's one of those that just stand on the heels of a and, and yeah. is, there's no like bottom attached to it. Yeah, so, so considering that this was a found footage, this was actually a lot of really good effects. Oh, yeah. Um, Who knows? It could also be real. <laughs> I'm not going to go find out. <laughs> I would never put myself in this situation knowingly. Mm-hmm. Willingly. Okay? If I knew that I was going into a Maybe place... Maybe for a Kit Kat. <laughs> no, you wouldn't do that even for a Kit Kat. Uh, if I had to go in there, like my life depended on it or something, I would be bringing in every single holy symbol. I would be calling up an actual exorcist and an actual <clears throat> priest to come with me. <laughs> and if, and based on what we've seen in this movie, I wouldn't be surprised if any holy symbol like burst into flames the moment you walked inside. And then at that point, I'd be like, nope, I'm out. I'm out. I'm gonna bring Sam and Dean Winchester. <laughs> Stop making supernatural references. I'm sorry, but you know, everyone will probably say that too. So yeah, it becomes a slow descent into madness for everybody. One really cool thing was that you can tell, like, something is really messed up when they're like, we don't know how many days it's been, but this food that we had, it is all rotten. Like, there's worms crawling Mm -hmm. out of the apples and... That was yeah, pretty awesome. Yeah, and they said they were only there for like two days, so, you know, yeah. that wouldn't happen. <laughs> yeah, so every everything ends up being skewed. Time, the universe, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> like, like time is all screwed up. Their food is all rotten. Yeah, their, the compass their is their going Their cameras, in like the time on their cameras in the very corner, like right here, it would say random numbers going yeah. jumping back and yeah, forth. Yeah, I thought that was a nice touch. Yeah. Um, so each of them are slowly disappearing to the point that they're taking shifts, but someone falls asleep for like five minutes, something happens, and mm-hmm. it's usually something bad, and they're at this point where they're, they're just stuck. They're stuck in this place, and they're stuck in this one room, just hearing noises all around them. They... Even the fire escape, they try to get out. I loved how they. Oh, yeah. I loved how they thought that would work. Yeah, so they're, they're trying <laughs> to find this a fire escape because he said from the shots in, on the outside, he saw a fire escape at the top. So they thought, hey, let's go to the roof and climb down. But when they go up to the stairs, it's just a wall. Yeah. Just, just a wall. You know, <laughs> like, what's the it biggest says, piss off you could ever think of? You know, it says a wall. Roof access. Yeah, roof access. But you know what? A wall. <laughs> And TC just loses. What kind of Harry Potter they're, shit are we dealing with right they're here? They're all just they're all just losing it. So the whole thing just had really nice build up throughout the whole movie. Really nice combination of scares. Like honestly, as much as I love the mutating faces, like that looked really fake, but it was still a lot of fun. See, my part, my favorite part, okay, so at the beginning. This isn't my favorite part. Just, so at the beginning, <laughs> it's just, your favorite part, but hey, you're not. It's leading not up to it. It's leading up to it. Okay, chill. <laughs> All right. So at the at part of the at kind of the beginning, it they hear a noise after like the big door slam on TC. They hear a noise and they go over and they find this uh, hospital bed flipped over with the wheels spinning as fast as they could. Like someone just. Oh yeah on the wheels and yeah it, it and they're like so freaked out okay so going forward to my favorite part he's going back there to find a weapon like 
like or uh, like just a pole to open a door but as he's there he sees a tongue on the ground a tongue and then blood drips when he goes to look at it and looks up and then the doctor Oh, was that the doctor? I'm pretty sure I it thought was, it was the another doctor. patient. It could have been a patient, but it kind of looked like a doctor to me. Like, all demonic-faced, like, screaming, and he's just getting freaked out, and he's chasing after him, and he runs back to everyone, back uh, to the girl, and, oh, Sasha, that's her name. To Sasha and TC, oh, no, uh, Sasha Matt. and Matt. Sorry, getting my names were mixed up. <laughs> and then he goes to go like block the door and the mat he just walks in front of the oh yeah at the moment they were trying to get the elevator open because that's a great idea yeah yeah that never ends badly they were gonna climb films. down there was a ladder right there but you know they decided to fight a demonic creature i actually like <laughs> that they tried fighting uh, they actually fought, fought back a bit. So yeah. That was actually pretty cool to see. You know, I'd be pretty freaked out too, but... <laughs> yeah. But Matt, who's been in, like, this weird state the whole time and has been acting as though he has been a patient for, like, a long time... So he goes he into the He has the doorway. camera and he yeah. looks over at the elevator and we see through one of the cameras that he just drops. Just he just drops he just, with the camera yeah. and he dies. Spoiler! Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is... <laughs> I think we're way past spoiler territory I wanted to now. say it once. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, da, da, da. So after the monster kind of like disappears, they're like, holy shit, where did Matt go? <laughs> well, he fell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, only one way down. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so like I told you, Kate, there's a second movie to this. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, and uh, literally on Netflix, it was, it was like one star. <laughs> Uh, after great, the first movie was <laughs> three stars. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like it, it, it didn't get hor more horrible, but it didn't get any better. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. So at, at the end of Grave Encounters, the first movie, it, it's uh, what is his name? Sean Preston. Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. He, yeah. he gets. He, so, they, first what they were doing was they were going into this long... They were going to the tunnels oh, yeah. underneath because there was, like, all these tunnels that connected to the other buildings, all these sewer lines. Yeah. So, he and... Sasha. Sasha were traveling. Sasha. She gets separate. I, that was probably the funniest disappearance. Yeah, though, okay, when so... when Sasha disappeared. Yeah, so they're just, like, huddling together. And just then suddenly scared, the fog... Falling asleep, and then all of a sudden this... Fog or so someone flips on the out. fog machine. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> and then when the fog dissipates, Sash is gone, and he just wakes up like, Yeah. Where, where the <laughs> hell was... is she? Sasha! Sasha! Yeah. Sasha! <laughs> Sasha! Sasha! <laughs> Sasha! Yeah. Just over and over again. And he he keeps going. This hallway is just going on forever and ever like and ever. No he, turns he or anything. Gets to just a door. Straight. No. And that, was, that actually was the thing that freaked me out the most was when he went into this room. Yeah, he woke up. Because wasn't the and pictures he saw like of his buddies? You no, know, it wasn't them. It was just uh, random people. Like ran, I thought so really? too. Okay, because that, that picture it looked like TC in the picture. A little bit, but it wasn't. TC was. Then more again, built. we yeah, like we didn't get much yeah. of a good look at TC's face anyway. Oh, well, we in, did in some shots. Yeah, but. But he was more of a cameraman. Uh, so he comes, he gets into this room and it's, it's a laboratory. It's an operation room with a whole bunch of pictures of people who have been dissected, a bunch of different tools. A bunch of lobotomies. Well, yeah, he turns and he can see, he passes, he passes a, the uh, place where they did lobotomies. Yeah. And then... As he's in, walking in, in this in photos room, that we saw at the beginning. as he's walking in this room, it looks like someone's playing with like black magic kind of stuff. All yeah. That, like a like a pentagram and everything and yeah, there's a candles and shit. The it, Necronomicon. It was, yeah, that, pretty much like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but worse. And he knocks over. A, I think it was a skull. Yeah, or he something? knocks. Yeah, he knocks something over and he turns around and then there's the doctors and nurses right there and then he turns around. 
He goes back and he's standing right in front of him. He's like, ah! <laughs> yeah. And when it comes back, we see the guy and he's like laid down and there is blood dripping from his eye, which means he had a lobotomy. Mm -hmm. And he says, the doctor says I'm good to go home now. So this is, this is Matt Preston or whatever his name was, uh, I was signing was off. Preston. And then the film ends. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was really really good. Like I was yeah. shocked at how much I enjoyed that. Like it wasn't it it was very very silly. Yeah. But it was fun. Like yeah. that was Okay, fun. now here's a spoiler to the second one. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here's a spoiler to the second one. Just quick 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 review of this one. Okay, so then there's this group of kids. So this movie goes viral. This goes viral. And then there's a group of kids who are like, Which we got also, it. super, super goofy that they're like, yeah, this is totally something we should show in the theaters to audiences. Yeah. No, so, <laughs> it's like, so this, this movie, is not a uh, film. This is not fake. Yeah, so this movie's going viral. And this group of kids, they, they're like, we gotta go. Let's go see if this is real. So they sneak in. Like, same door says death awaits. <laughs> Even the even a security guard is, is trying to get them to stop going in. So that's a sneak in at night. So once they're in, they're just trapped again. You know? When you learn from the first movie, you know? <laughs> at least, at least he could have brought... Did they bring anything? Hmm? Did they um, bring oh no, anything? Like they, they brought a camera. No, like I mean, I mean like anything that... Uh, any kind of protection, holy symbols, uh, blessed items, they're priests. Kids. Their kids. Anyways, I, no one even brought a Ouija board. <laughs> I don't think you need a Ouija board anymore. But I mean, like, like you said, they're kids. Yeah. And that seems to be the the one the one item related to ghosts that kids can get a hold of these days is yeah. Ouija boards. Which again is another thing I never want to touch because I you don't put yourself in that situation. Okay. You want to see you a don't really do that. another stupid show? Just call it, watch the Ouija. A Ouija is uh, the Ouija Experiment. The so, Ouija Experiment? Yeah, I've heard it, of that. It's, it's not that good. The second oh. one was worse. <laughs> There's a second it one? It was worse. Okay, you know, it's one of the... Once you know, like, that... A good way to tell that it's a bad movie... When, uh... When the cover of it is the best. <laughs> Okay. The cover of it. Oh no! Just like oh, we do experiment and then demonic people on front. Yeah. See that's greatest cover. Movie sucked. <laughs> See, I usually find that's the opposite. The worst movies are the ones with like the worst covers, where you can tell someone was paid maybe five, five bucks to Photoshop him. <laughs> <laughs> I charge him ten. Oh. All right. So tell me this quick. The, this one scene that's in the movie you want to tell me so badly Okay, about. so in in this movie, I'm not going to tell you what the, leads the up to one. it. The second one. Yeah, in the second <laughs> one, uh, I'm not going to tell you what leads up to it, but they're in the, the big, la uh, the long-ass hallway in the basement again. <laughs> yeah, and, that then, out so well and then the all of a sudden, he, he, he shows up. He just, just Sean Preston shows up and <laughs> out of nowhere, and he's basically Ratman from Portal. Okay. No, I'm, I'm not even kidding you. He takes him to. Oh yeah, that little, was the other thing. Is... He takes him to his little hut, and the and and it's just literally he's living like Ratman. This cake is not a lie. <laughs> oh man, that was that was another thing in the first one. Again, again, we have animals being harmed in the making of these movies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, he beats down a rat just to eat it. Yeah. Well, at that point, it's been, like, probably who knows how long in purgatory yeah. dimension. Yeah. Ooh. All right, so that was Grave Encounters. Uh, Very interesting, interesting <laughs> horror movie. Yeah. Oh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, and a really good end to Halloween. I still got lots more movies to watch, but that was... The Halloween Countdown. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>